Good evening, this is Edward Ojambo. In this part 2 tutorial, strings will be manipulated using Python. This is from chapter 2 of the OjamboShop.com learning Python course. Strings can be surrounded by single or double quote string. Quotes are literal, double quotes allow escape characters. Python can be compiled from source at GitHub. Python can be installed from download binaries. I installed version 3.12.4 from the Fedora 40 repos. Let's begin. So I'm using Gini. What I'll do is I'll go and save this file. Call it strings to the Python. I don't even need this up here. Okay, <coughs> so first my knee will zoom in here. Okay, so we're going to use find. We're going to find the letter I. We're going to start from the second the character to the tenth character. String search for value and optional position. Okay, next We use format. So we're going to create a variable called person. I'm creating a Python object. I could have made a JSON, but JSON, as you know, you need to use double quotes. It's numeric, so I don't need to. This is a format map. Next we'll use we're going to create uh, we're going to use index. It's similar to find, except that this one only returns a substring, and if the substring is not found, it will output an error. Now 
going to use this is a return a boolean so determine if alpha numeric I'm going to duplicate this and change this from this to alpha alpha duplic meaning only alpha characters I'll duplicate this again and we'll change this to ASCII That is numeric. Okay, so we then compile this. We can also go up to the build compile, so there's no issues. Then we can run it here, or we can go to build and execute. Okay, so I have an error. So the mistake is actually here. Well, that's the thing. So we'll compile it again, no problems. We run it, and here we go. So this is the output. So you see the first print here. It found it uh, in the second position, the I, well, because they start at zero, so it's there. And then the print, the, uh, the sum of 1 plus 2 equals 3. This is fine. Then the person, John, is 24 years old. That's great. The index, it found the I also at the second position. Because remember, we start counting at zero. Then, is it alpha numeric? False, because there are no numbers. Uh, is it alphabetic? It's false because I have period in it. And is it ASCII? The answer is true. Is it a decimal? False. Is digit? False. Identifier? False. Is it lowercase? Uh, no. False. Is it numeric? 
false is it printable yes it's printable is it white space false is it uppercase uh, false yeah is it printable yes is it a white space false title false uppercase false you can find the full article at ojumbo.com slash manipulate strings sorry uh, ojumbo.com slash manipulate hyphen strings hyphen part hyphen two hyphen using hyphen python this is part two of the tutorial you can see all the uh, methods python methods used to manipulate the strings you can click here to expand the source as you can see or if you just want to copy paste some screenshot of Bini and here again when I compile and then when I run it I use the terminal and here this is the video you can find this video obviously on the article and other platforms YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, X, LinkedIn, Facebook etc and also on TikTok as well uh, all the others and of course if you want to learn python yourself uh, you can visit the javashop.com slash learning hyphen python and if you want one-on-one -on -one tutorials be sure to check out for javaservices.com this is if you need a, a website it's custom made if you need an application whether it's desktop mobile or web you can do that as well the database or not and if you want to learn how to program, uh, if you just want just simple tutorials, again you can contact the tutorials to sessions are custom made for individuals. You can call is uh, North America or if you want to do a direct tell, we take anybody from around the world. Learning Python course course uh, is jungleshop.com slash learning hyphen python. Remember to the end of twenty twenty four you can use the promo code school to get up to you get sorry not up to you get 20% off and so what happens is once you pay for the course you log into your account so you can go into the menu here go to paid content or you can, once you log in you can click your paid content over here uh, the sub menu you can click paid content and then you click the course it remembers where you left off. There's a table of contents here. You see this is chapter two. The strings. The strings are all here. And you also have the tables here for the most common strings to use. And these are the skip characters. And you can also type it here. So for example, I can say string one equals hello there. And then you can print string one and you click compile and then you see it will print your output here and you can also clear and to type in uh, the next card so this works in the web browser so that means that you don't need to install python or have an id you can simply just use this one it's uh, cross platform compatible meaning that it will work on your mobile phone your device like a tablet or even some screen readers uh, for books, ebooks and all that as well as long as you have a web browser, you'll be able to do this. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.